Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This here is the 2021 Honda CRF 300L. I'm going to install a dash cam on it. This is from Black Box My Car. It is the Viofo uh, motorcycle dash cam. And I want to install this on here and then do some videos uh, of daylight and dark and see how it turns out. They sent this to me, no charge. I'm not getting paid anything to make the videos. I will post a link below in the description to Black Box My Car where you can pick one of these up. This is the MT1 by Viofo. So it is a dual channel front and rear. Uh, it does have the Sony uh, sensor in it, the Starvis sensor. It's got a 170 degree wide viewing angle, uh, super night vision. So it should be real good at night vision, especially if you're in town where there is some street lights. It does have the Wi-Fi support so you can Wi-Fi it to your phone. Uh, it has a GPS logger. It does have a remote control that goes up on your handlebar wherever you want to locate it and it is water resistant. Supposed to be a waterproof, it would have to be the cameras, but the, the DVR unit will put under the seat so it won't be out in the weather. So let's go ahead and take this thing and get it installed. Okay, so in the box, we have the main head unit that will mount under the seat. On this head unit, it does show you what uh, each one of these cables does. This is GPS, the power cable, the remote control cable, the rear camera cable, and the front camera cable. On this end here, you open up this slot, there's a place for your micro SD card. And then on this end, each cable is color coordinated so you get everything in the right position. Right here we have the remote control. So this will go up towards your handlebars where it'll be easy accessible. Uh, it has a record button and a Wi-Fi button. Uh, you would push the record button, you can record a video that will not be overwritten by the loop recording and it will save it into a folder where you can always have that and take it off. You also have the uh, Wi-Fi button. They push this button so you can connect it to your phone. It turns on the Wi-Fi. Each one of these connectors have a nice threaded lock so they're not just a push together. And they also have a rubber seal inside to make them watertight. The camera is the same way. We have a front and rear camera and they are mounted just like this. They have an arrow to point uh, the direction up. So when you mount them, you want to mount it with this arrow up. They also have the same type connector with the rubber O-ring seal inside. Right here we have all the different Velcro, uh, different adhesives, and we have an Allen wrench. Right here we have the micro SD card that comes with it, which is a 32 gigabyte, and it comes with an adapter. And here we have a micro SD card reader, so we can plug it into USB and plug in your micro SD card right here to read it on your laptop or computer. Over here we have some adhesive mounts and the mounts to mount to the camera. Over here we have the wiring harness. This is red, labeled for the power. It's also O-ring sealed, and it has the power ground and the switch power. Also we have some zip ties, and right here we have our user manual. So the user manual, you can go over it. it tells you all the details about it, how to connect everything, and where are the best places to mount it. You want to mount this in a solid location. Uh, the bit more solid, the better uh, to make a smooth video. Let's go ahead and get this installed. Okay, so mounting the front camera, I want to take this bracket here, and I, I did like I do on all my bikes. I actually put it on the front master cylinder here for the brakes. Um, it uh, will cover the holes, but it can be modified uh, by clipping these little edges off so you can still get to the screws and have your bracket on here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clip these edges off here and just modify it a little bit so I can still get to the screws to take this cap off. I just This will be on here when I take the cap off and still accessible. But this is a real solid place to mount it and it's a good place up high so it'll get good view. And it's the same way I've done all my motorcycles so we're going to put it on here. So the way this camera goes is you'll take this ring and put over the camera and then on this there's a plastic insert that goes inside the between these two pegs and you put it like that and then there's a bolt that just goes through it to hold it together and then you can tighten it up in the position that you want make sure this arrow is up okay you can see here i have my front camera mounted aimed forward uh, i did opt to use the plastic mount there is supplied as two plastic mounts and two metal mounts on the front i use the plastic because it is easy to clip it and shape it the way i wanted to expose the screws here so I might use the metal on the back or the plastic, depending on what I need when I get back there. But I ran my wires right through the same uh, ties for the factory wiring down through, and then I'm running it along the factory wiring harness back to the seat compartment. 
Okay, so the next thing we want to do is remove the seat. We'll remove this side panel exposing the battery. And we're going to remove this side panel to make sure we get the wire run good and neat down this side back to this seat compartment. All right, removing the side panel is extremely easy. You will have to remove one Allen screw here, one here, one here, and then you'll release three of the push pins. There's one right here, one right here, and one in the front. And then all this just pulls right off. Okay. As I said, I run this along the original wire loom, right back here under the edge of the tank, right down this loom here. Brought the camera cable up here. I'll be mounting the DVR right here. I can just zip tie this in a few places to hold it in good position. Okay, so what I did is I removed my owner's manual from under the seat. I don't ever keep mine under the seat anyway. Uh, so I removed it, and then I put the big piece of the, uh, I think this is called fast lock, uh, right here under the seat. And then I got the two pieces, two short pieces here, so I can actually just stick this unit right down here. I went ahead and put in my micro SD card. And I've also got the rear camera cable run right here. And I'll show you where I mounted the rear camera. Okay, so here is where I located the rear camera, which is on the upper part of the tail tidy. Now you could locate it in a different location, depending on what you're doing. For now, I thought this is a nice, flat, solid, real solid surface. I routed the cable back under the fender and back to the under seat compartment. Okay, so the way I'm connecting the battery is, I loosen the post here. I already connected the positive this way. Release, loosen it like so. Slide this fitting right in behind the plate. And I want to bend this tab down where it goes over the top of the battery. And then I tighten this back up. And then I've routed my wire in with the loom back toward the fuse panel back here under the seat. Same way with the positive. These connectors, all of them are the same. They're pretty much, they only go on here one way. You put them where the notches line up, then you take these two pieces and thread them together, and it should make a pretty watertight connection. All right, so we have our DVR head unit mounted under the seat. Uh, connect your blue wire to a fuse that is a positive whenever you turn the switch on and then routed our wires. We connect our red to the battery positive all the time and then our ground to the ground terminal. And then I've mounted the remote up here. Uh, I'm going to stick it down right here. I haven't read yet. And I routed this wire in the same location that I routed the front camera wire. So depending on which motorcycle you have, um, that will determine how you'll mount all this stuff. But if you got a CRF 300L, a CRF 250L, or something similar, dual sport, it's pretty much going to be about the same setup. So let's put this thing back together and we'll take it out and do some videos of daytime and nighttime. Okay, so the first thing you want to do on the app is go and download it. It's called Viofo. So go download it. You see at the bottom right here, click on it. That's the app. You want to go next, you want to go into your Wi Fi settings. And I'm already connected, but you connect to Viofo. Uh, if this doesn't come up, you push the little Wi Fi button and it lights up a blue light on your remote, and then your Wi-Fi will come on and work. Go back out of that. Once you're connected, go into the app and you push on Connect Camera. Once you connect the camera, uh, you can go in here, you can see where it says Switch Camera. So right now I'm on the front view. If I push Switch, now I'm on the rear view. If I push Switch again, now I'm on the uh, front view with the rear view being a small little one in the top left corner. I want to go back to front view. That's recording both. No matter what this view is on, it's still going to be recording both if you got it set that way. If you want to take a snapshot on the screen, just push snapshot. It takes a success there. It takes a snapshot of the screen. Uh, to go into the settings on the bottom right, the gear, or on the left, the other, uh, see your videos, you need to push stop recording, the red button on the bottom. Turn to white. Click the gear on the right now. And we can see our settings in here. Our video resolution is 1080p front and rear, 30 frames per second. And really, you can't change it. So time lapse recording is off. You can turn on time lapse. I got my loop recording set to five minutes. Audio recording turned on. It's usually not necessary because it makes a lot of wind noise. But if you are stopped at a scene, then you can hear the audio when the wind's not blowing in the camera so much. Um, you can set exposure front and rear. I don't mess with that. The WDR, the motion detection, I don't use that either. The G-Sensor, 
uh, low sensitivity was on, what is on. If you click on it, you can go medium or high sensitivity. Date stamp, you can have that on your video to show the date stamp. A time zone, I set to GMT6 minus 6, which is mine. Time synchronization, if you click on that, you can sync it with your phone. Image rotate, uh, I just leave that alone because it's right. Live video source is the front camera. The GPS is turned on. It's great if you want to use it. It shows your speed. And if you do, you click on this right there. It says speed unit. And then go to miles per hour if that's what you want. Uh, GPS stamp info. Uh, oh, you can turn it off if you're not using it. Otherwise, you can have speed plus coordinates, speed or coordinates. And then the camera model stamp. You can have that on there too. The format SD card. So if you push this, put, click OK. It will erase everything on the SD card. Reset camera settings. If you push that, you can reset all the settings that you changed. The Wi-Fi name shows what it is. The Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi password shows 1 through 8, like I said. And then car license number. You can also put that if you want it on there. So if we back out of here, you'll notice it starts recording again. So we want to stop recording by pushing the red button on the bottom, turn to white, click the icon on the left, goes up here, shows all the videos are recorded, which is all just here in the shop, so there's nothing, really no movement or anything. If you click on locked files, that will show the videos it's locked. Like if you push that record button up there while riding down the road, the record button on your remote, it will record a one minute video and put it in the locked files. If you go to your files and you want to download any of these videos, you click select up there, you can select which videos you want, like these three on top. At the bottom there, you see the little download in the dead center. I can download them or I can delete them, either one. Uh, that will download them to my phone. All right, guys, so I have got the Viofo MT1 dash cam from Black Box My Car mounted on a brand new 2021 Honda CRF 300L. You can see the front camera is mounted right here. And then I mounted the remote right here on the right side, so it's handy to get to. And back here is where I mounted the rear can. Got it aimed up with the arrow up. And then on this side right here is where I mounted the GPS antenna. Uh, you need that so it'll calculate the speed and everything, uh, the coordinates from the GPS unit. So we're going to take this thing out and do a daytime ride. And then after the daytime ride video, we'll show you some nighttime footage.
right, guys, that was the Viofo MT-1 from Black Box My Car. If you want to check it out, I'll post the link below. And uh, I got this camera mounted up here, so I think that's why in the video you might notice some uh, a little bit of quivering. It's just because there's probably a vibration on the bar. It's about the best place I have to locate it. On a single-cylinder bike, you're going to vibrate a little bit more. Uh, still, to me, it doesn't. the video is still plenty good to use. And... A person could mount it down on the fork tube somewhere and make it a lot more solid. But I like this position up here where it's up high and it gets a good viewing angle. So check this out below. I'll post a link to Black Box in My Car. You can check them out. And I'll catch you on the next one. Right on.